Study basers. The first element of music to talk about is rhythm. So rhythm is all about when musical events happen in time. And I would say that, that rhythm is the most essential of all of the elements, uh, just because when we hear sounds at random, we don't usually think of that as music. But as soon as we organize those sounds into time, that's when we start to feel that it, it sounds like music. So let me give you a quick example of what I mean. So by itself, most people don't hear that as music. But as soon as we organize that sound into time, then it starts to sound like music to us. So sound has to be organized in time for us to perceive it as music. If there's no rhythm, then there's no music, right? Well, let's look at uh, some different features of rhythm and how the bass is involved with them. So at the core of rhythm is the beat. Well, what is the beat? Well, the beat is the steady pulse of the music that's constantly flowing in the background. And, you know, sometimes the beat is very obvious to you because you'll hear instruments are accenting the beat. But then other times it's not as obvious, even though it's always flowing in the background. So sometimes the instruments might accent notes in between the beat, or uh, there might be silence, but that, that pulse is still continuing in the background. So the next aspect of rhythm is meter. Meter is just how we count or divide the beat. So the word meter means to measure, and in music, uh, meter means a measurement of beats. So the most common meter divides music into groups of, of four beats. So we call each one of those groups of four beats a measure of music. So you hear people count all the time, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that beat keeps repeating, but we only count to four and then we start over. There are lots of possible meters in music. We don't just count in four. Uh, you could count in three, uh, four, five, six, seven, seventeen. Uh, any number is, is possible, but uh, I think what you'll find is the most common meters uh, are the ones that people find easy to dance to. So three and four, six, those are all very comfortable and predictable for people. Now, in the band, the whole band uh, agrees on a meter uh, and they help set uh, the, the feel of that meter. But the bass has a particularly uh, important role in it because in most styles of music, we stress or accent somehow uh, beat one. And when we do that, uh, it, helps, it helps us feel and count uh, the, the meter. Tempo is how fast or slow the beat of the music is moving. And we measure tempo in beats per minute or BPM. So a dance song might be 120 beats per minute. 
or a slow ballad might be 60 beats per minute. Uh, a really fast jazz song might be 300 beats per minute. Uh, it's going to depend on the style of music and the song itself. Now, in a band situation, the whole band should, uh, should pick a tempo and stick to it. Uh, now, if you're playing with some less experienced musicians, they might have a tendency to speed up the music uh, or slow down. Uh, and as a bass player, you're really trying to help people hold that tempo. So let's hear a few examples of different, of different tempos. The beat, meter, and tempo, those are all really big parts of rhythm. But when people talk about rhythm, they usually mean something a little bit more specific. They're talking about uh, when and for how long different musical events occur. So a, a musical event could be anything. It could be a single note, or it could be a group of notes played at the same time, uh, or it could be a drum being hit, uh, or even silence. So uh, these rhythms, they all have, they all have names like whole note or half note, quarter note, eighth note, and all that's describing is a fraction of the measure. So like a whole note is four beats or a half note is two beats. Rhythm is a huge part of bass playing. You might play some very simple bass lines and you'll find that they don't divide the beat very much. But then you'll have other bass lines that are very complex and divide the beat a lot. As I said in the beginning, rhythm is really the most essential element of music, and the bass is a rhythm instrument. So a lot of your learning is going to be all about learning to keep a steady beat, learning how to count the beat, divide the beat, uh, make the beat feel good. Uh, all of that is, is going to be just a big part of what you do as a bass player. So really, you could learn all of the other aspects of music inside and out. And if, if your rhythm is bad, then none of that is going to save you. Mm -hmm. 